Well, I really hate to be smug and say that I told you so, but I did t tell you so. The IRS has officially come out with a statement on what it's going to do with Bitcoin in regards to taxes. Now, for the longest time, Bitcoin supporters have said the government can't tax it because it's not official currency. And the only way they could do that would be making it official currency is that the government can't touch us. Uh, this is free from taxes because it's not official fiat money and so on and so on. Well, the government has decided exactly how it's going to tax it. It is not going to tax it as though it is currency. They're going to tax it as though it is property. General tax principles that apply to property transactions apply to transactions using virtual currency, the IRS said in a statement, meaning that bitcoins will be taxed as ordinary income or as assets subject to capital gains taxes, depending on the circumstances. And that's what I said was going to happen it's still property and the state is going to find a way to tax it. I said that if it ever came up that it was something meaningful that was actually going to be used and people started making a lot of money on it, the government was going to find a way to tax it. That it was not free from government intervention as you know, a lot of people who support Bitcoin actually said. And my response was, no, they're going to find a way to interfere with it. They are going to come in and get their cut because a lot of what libertarians or the and cash whatever don't seem to understand is that the government is a part of the economy and the government has a jurisdiction over that economy. The economy isn't something you own, it's something that you're a part of. But again, this is more of a philosophical type argument. Now, as some of you many do know, I am currently writing a book about a lot of uh, libertarian or you know ANCAP solutions to the not real capitalism we have today 3d printing using the gold standards and uh, crypt, uh, crypt, cryptocurrency in my cryptocurrency section which I'm almost finished this is literally what I said it was going to be a capital a capital gain tax because that's the most rational one and what Bitcoin actually fits right into the character of gain or loss from the sale or exchange of virtual currency depends on whether the virtual currency is a capital asset in the hands of the taxpayer, the IRS said. If a taxpayer holds virtual currency as capital, like stocks or bonds or other investment property, gains or losses are realized as capital gains or losses, the agency said. However, when virtual currency is held as inventory or other property mainly for sale to customers, a trade or business, Ordinary gains or losses are generally incurred, the IRS said. Capital gains and losses are taxable and deductible at different rates and amounts than ordinary gains and losses. I also do say in my book that this is going to be a capital gains tax. See, the problem with believing that Bitcoin can't be taxed lies on one particular false idea. People believe that you are taxed for things like you have a property you pay taxes on it. You, you you're taxed for having things that's not how taxes work taxes are based on taxable events you're not taxed because you have a can of soda you are taxed because you purchased a can of soda a sales tax is a tax placed on the event of purchase the government doesn't tax things they tax events that occur. The act of owning property can be a taxable event. Trading, even bartering, even if bartering is done with a large enough difference, uh, meaning the, the value between the two things is actually taxable. That's why there are tax deductible gifts and non-tax deductible gifts because events are taxed, not actual things. That's why in the, 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 the tax code, and this runs pretty much the same for every country, it is particular events that are taxed. Now, the article does go on to explain how this new ruling by the IRS is actually going to hurt people who mine bitcoins. On the IRS guidance, William Lewis, a lawyer from Sunnyvale, California, who represents a startup company creating a platform for virtual currency, said, this is going to be unfavorable to Bitcoin miners because they're going to have to include in income the fair market value of the currency on the date they mined it. It's going to make life difficult for a lot of people who have been mining over the past year, who have been going back 
and see the values were on those dates when they mined it. This is what I said was coming, that if Bitcoin actually managed to be of a significant value where it could actually take even a minute chunk out of the economy, the government was going to come in and get its cut. The government has a right by law to collect taxes from the economy because the economy exists within its authority. Now again, not agreeing with this is a philosophical argument, one that's not here for this video. The point was to show how it is now going to be taxed, the IRS recognizes that and are officially saying how it's going to be done. And this is another thing that's manifesting itself with Bitcoin that I said was going to happen that some people said would not happen. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.